Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. I want to take y'all into a store you all probably know. Strictly Sportswear over there on 7 Mile and the Southfield Freeway. We had a baseball team. <clears throat> we used to play in South Bar City. And we had a couple guys from Strictly Sportswear play on our team, which was Hook and Shine. They was from Strictly Sportswear. We had a state trooper, Punch, who played. We had Kerwin and Greg and me, Jimmy and Craig, and a few others. But anyway, this story is really about Strictly Sports. And I met Shine and Hook playing on our softball team, and they were from Strictly Sports. Where? Over there on 7 Mile and Southfield Freeway. Let me tell you about Strictly Sportswear back in the 80s. Strictly Sportswear was a hot gambling joint in the basement. You understand? It was on the front page of the papers after the feds went and raided Strictly Sportswear way back in the 80s. This was quite a while ago. But it was a lot of heavy gambling going on. Guys would walk in Strictly Sportswear and they would buzz them to go down to the basement and they would be gambling hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. We talking about major money they was gambling at Strictly Sportswear after our joint or at certain times in the day when they would get it started, they'd buzz them in and all the big time players would come in with all the big time cars. You'd see all the cars and everything out there. When you're going to Strictly, you wouldn't see the crowd of cars that it looked like was out there because they was all actually downstairs gambling big money. All the big dogs used to go to Strictly Sportswear to gamble. Understand that. And after the feds raided it and put it all out there, I remember the story, but I don't remember it totally, but I remember Strictly Sportswear was an after hour gambling spot at any time. Two, three o'clock in the afternoon, they'd be gambling. Late night after hours, they'd be gambling in the basement where you'd have to be buzzed in to get in, you understand? So it just wasn't for squares, it was for high rollers who was betting big time money and big time gambling. So I remember Strictly Sports from back then in the early days, and it's wonderful to see that they still survive today. Strictly Sports where it's still there, the same place, everything. But I just have to remember when they made the front page of the news and free press for the after hour gambling thing that was going on at Strictly Sports where right there on 7 Mile in Southfield. So as I say, they used to always say to me, Eddie, you got a memory like a goddamn elephant. What do you forget? Very little. And I remember Strictly Sportswear from back in that day, the gambling thing that went down there. So I kind of do remember a lot of things that I've seen, read about in the paper. It went down. I think it might have been a little deal in there. And whoever... They was after running Strickland's wound up doing a little time, I believe, 10 or 12 in the penitentiary, but I'm not sure, but I'm almost sure. So this is one from the archives talking about Strictly Sportswear, which is still around, still in the same place, pretty much still looks the same. But in that day, it was nothing but big time gambling going on there. If you ain't had three, four hundred thousand dollars, forget about it. He wasn't going in downstairs and strictly to gamble, you understand? Because it was for big timers only. And when I met Young Shine and Hook, that's immediately what came to mind. Oh, y'all from Strictly Sportswear? I figured Young Shine might have been kin to the one who was running it from the beginning. Never knew that, but I always thought it because I knew about Strictly Sportswear and the bust that they had had which was on the news and in the papers. So Strictly Sportswear made the news and the papers, you understand? Back in the day for big time gambling, you understand? So when they came on the softball team and said Strictly Sportswear, it was all right with me because I knew a little about Strictly Sportswear and big money and gambling and all the big dogs over there 
throwing it up down there in the basement of Strictly Sportswear many years ago. Look it up in the paper for yourself. It was even news coverage. The cameras was out there after the bus. So Strictly Sportswear, look it up in the paper because it's real, true street crime. It was in the newspaper and it was on the news. Strictly Sportswear, still getting down today. Stop over there and give them a play and buy you some sportswear. They've always had the fly gear over there at Strictly Sportswear. This is Real True Street Crime saying subscribe, share, and like. I am Eddie Baby on Instagram. Check out Brittany Simmons Law, wonderful young attorney on her way up. Check her out and she'll help you out. Simmons Law. Google her. She's out there. Brittany Simmons. Check her out and she will definitely help you out. Slide on over there if you're hungry to a world-class chef. Jelani's tasting table, you understand? Have it your way. 420 style or regular style. And just definitely check out them fish tacos with that lime sour cream. Knock you out, you understand? Check him out because he's a winner out there wearing them championship medals around his neck from laying them down. Championship award-winning chef, Jelani's Tasting Table. Move on over there and check out Top Tier Cuts, Super King, baby. If you need a cut, go and check out Top Tier Cuts, 313 Super King, baby, and he will lay you down. Top Tier Cuts, 313 Super King. And you got to check out Clarence and Mac Calf Live. Loud. Clarence and Mac Calf Loud. If you need any gummy bears, 420 style. You need a meal, 420 style. Check out Loud Delivery. Clarence and Mac Calf. They awful loud over there. And then you got to check out Big Boss. Motown Mafia Podcast. On Spotify, check out Courtney Brown Jr. over there setting them on fire on the podcast. Motown Mafia podcast on Spotify just for you. And before I go, I got to say Motown Mafia too, baby. Coming just for you. Understand that Motown Mafia 2 going to be bigger, badder, more explosive Facts you ain't never heard coming at you, you understand, in Motown Mafia 2. Don't like to hold you because I like to keep you, but check us out over there on Spotify, Crime Town Kingpin's Kids. You can hear Ryan Gill Valley for yourself, Eddie Jackson, Mort Krems, and Courtney Brown. But as to say to you all, thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking. Thank you all, because without you all, there is no me. Thank you. I appreciate you dearly. And before I go, straight from the fat man, the magic fat man, Big Bear Cola, or Mr. President, I'm going to be saying a lot of you all. Ha!